In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to the new Dimension tool in Adobe Illustrator's beta version. You can bid farewell to the laborious process of manual measurements and embrace a more efficient and streamlined workflow. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. As of version 28.1 in the Illustrator beta, the Dimension tool has seen some additional updates with the inclusion of angular and radial measurements. If you don't know how to access the beta version of Illustrator, I'll drop a link in the description and I'll pop a card in the corner to a previous video where I explain how to install it. The Dimension tool is located in the main toolbar and has been given the same contextual toolbar treatment as some of the other tools in the latest release of Illustrator. You have three different dimension types to choose from and the three little dots opens up the settings window where you can change the units of measure, colours and even the font type and size. But before we get into any of that, let's first look at how it works. I'm going to start off by selecting the linear dimension tool and then using this B logo as example, I'm going to measure the wingspan. So to start off, I'm going to set my first anchor point on the left side of the wing and then on the right side of the wing I'm going to set down my second anchor point and then if you move the mouse you'll see these extension lines clicking the third time will set those extension lines down and it will also display the width information you can also use the linear dimension tool by hovering your mouse over straight edges then clicking to confirm the placement of the dimension information let's now tweak some of the dimension options by selecting those three dots I mentioned earlier in particular I want to change the color style and font of the dimension information. Also know that when changing any of these options it won't automatically update anything you've already done which is a bit of a shame although you can still do this manually to a certain extent. For now I'm going to change all my star colours to a reddish colour and I'm also going to switch over the lines from a solid line to a dashed line and I'm also going to update the font to something different. Once you've updated some of the options just click OK. Let's now switch over to the angular dimension tool and as the name suggests this allows us to measure our angles unfortunately on my example the only angle we can measure is this bottom part of the logo so if I single click on the bottom anchor point and then move my mouse outwards as you can see we can measure the inner angle and the outer and if I just let go of the mouse button it will display the angular information in our new colors and new font with the dimension tool we can also measure the diameter within a circle so click in the radial dimension tool click within the circle and then move the mouse to the boundary of the circle click and hold and then that allows us to measure the diameter all the way across or from the single point where we selected then letting go of the mouse button will display the diameter information and that's pretty much it I highly recommend having a play around with the dimension tool it's an incredible versatile tool that can help with precision in your design work and before we wrap up here's available tip to enhance your precision when using the dimension tool is to enable smart guides these guides act as your trusty assistant snapping objects into place and help you maintain accurate alignments to enable smart guides simply go to view and then select smart guides it's a small change that can make a big difference in your workflow 